Hi everyone and welcome to this video. So, who of you have used these little ICs? The package is called TSOP or TSSOP or TSOP and um, they're tiny. If I just show you here, there's my finger and you can see that the chip is less than the size of my thumbnail. Um, now the, the pitch or the spacing of the pins is ridiculously small. I'll just zoom in a bit more if I can. Yeah, so there's the little chip. So, how can we use this? They're actually created for machines to, to do it, robots to use them, and robots can be ridiculously precise. Um, and, you know, there are various different methods. But anyway, how do we use them as, um, as enthusiasts? Well, this is what I'm going to show you. Okay, so... The first thing you're going to need, I'll just zoom out here actually, I'll just zoom out, hang on. Right, so there's our little chip, tiny little thing. I'll just put that here for now. First thing you're going to need is one of these. And this is a, a, um, a TS SARP to dip converter. The idea is you solder the little chip onto there and you can sort of break it out with the pins that we're familiar with on there and there's actually this one's actually dual sided so it's quite good but anyway this is the tiny one so still how the hell do you actually solder it on this is what I'm going to show you now okay first of all I'm going to need this thing it's very dirty but it'll do right let's zoom in again this is going to be quite difficult with the camera, I think, but anyway, let's see what I can do. So, this is um, this is my method. Now, there's probably other different methods available, and um, maybe some that go against what I say. I don't know, but this is how I do it. I've not actually seen it done this way on YouTube before. So, um, I'll go ahead and show you, and um, hopefully you like this way. It's very easy. Okay, so... The first thing I do is hold it that way so that the pins are, you know, coming away from your body like that. Okay, so before I actually do anything on this, um, you need a small soldering iron. So you can't get a, a big thing because you've got no chance. It's got to be a small one. And I'm going to be using a 12 watt soldering iron. So, um, yeah, that's one thing you're going to need. Um, you'll also need flux. And of course you'll need solder, as thin as possible really is easier. And sometimes you need solder and wick, so if it doesn't go right you put a solder and wick on it, heat it up, clean it off, and start again. Anyway, so the first thing I'm going to do is um, put um, flux over this, and I'm being quite generous with it as well. Alright? If it's not clean, you don't stand a chance. So, um... That's that, first thing done. Next, I'm going to put the solder iron on its side. Now this looks a bit peculiar, doesn't it? But, um, right now, I'm going to heat some solder, but I'm going to, not going to put it on the tip, I'm going to put it in a bit of an odd position, and you'll see why in a second. Right, so I'm going to get a ball, like that. Okay, so we've got a ball, and now I'm going to put the solder iron on its side, heat it up and spread it, spread the ball around like this. It's really difficult with the camera. You don't want to, you don't want to go too mad heating this though because if you do, it could get dirty. Let's put this all around. Okay, and then get it off. Right, take that out of the way, and then this way. And what this will do... What this will do is give, is basically tin the, um, the areas where the um, pins are going to go. So you can see that that's not flat anymore, it's been tinned. So that's going to be a lot easier for us. So now do the other side. So I'll just show you again. You get, you put the soldering iron on its side, heat up so that you get a ball. Not too crazy. That should do. 
and then spread that around, heat it up and spread it around. This is really difficult with the camera because I can't you know the camera's in the way so and then flick it away and that's done so you can see that we've tinned the contacts okay this is going to be a lot easier now so um, let's clear this clear this stuff away okay now where's the chip I had a little chip somewhere let me just find that all right the little chips disappeared um ah there it is so I've got the chip now you need to align or put the chip on correctly I can see a little circle here let me just see if I can show you the circle you can't, I don't know if you can see it on the camera, but it's top left. It's a circle. And that, oh, there you go. You can see it now. That means pin 1. So, you obviously want them to correspond. So, that's pin 1 there. Well, you know, loosely correspond. At least be in order. So, place it on, on the thing, um, on the board, as neatly as you can. Right, now, this is really difficult now, because I can't even get in position because of the camera. So, I'll move the camera out of the way slightly. Just one second. Right, now let's see if I can finish this off. So, you need to get it with these little uh, tweezers, then make sure it's right. That looks about right. And what we want to do is just to secure one or two pins. So if it's right, use the side of the soldering iron again and just melt the sides like that. And what should happen is that the solder that you've just put onto the pins or the contacts should melt, and it should stick the uh, stick the pins of the um, of the IC. So let me just have a quick look at that. Yep, that looks good. I'll just show you. So that's one side done. I'll need to revisit it again in a second, probably with a magnifying glass and just make sure that they are actually touching. I'll do the other side now though. Make sure they're aligned, which in fact they need a slight adjustment. Let's try that. Yep, that looks right. And then again, use the side of the soldering iron and just melt them gently right and um, now let's just check I'll bring the camera back down the lights not so good here but you can see that it's actually done the job and how easy is this method? I, I find this the easiest method ever. Um, so it's hard to give you. It's hard to show you this though. It's that small. Okay. Now, if it doesn't go right first time, because you've not gone crazy with the solder, you can just simply touch them like that with the soldering iron and press down and then off. And then you should find that it will stick if it doesn't first time. So, I mean, what this means is, of course, that you can then utilize these tiny little packages, and most of them are really, really good. And this one in particular is a rail to rail op amp, which I'm going to use for solar. Oh, here we go, I can zoom in a bit better now. Alright, so um, here's the outcome. So I've done two of these, and I've soldered the um, the other pins on, and um, and it's good. So I can use these things now. So yeah, I hope this video helped you. Thanks for watching. Bye.